Ladies and gentlemen, Eric the World Walker here, saving the world of professional wrestling one show at a time. And this is I on Georgia. Welcome to Eye on Georgia, where I take the hottest shows in the South and put them front and center on the world stage. Today we're talking about Southern Honor 27, May 7th in Canton, Georgia. And once again, Southern Honor is looking to deliver the goods. And with this show, it seems the theme is momentum shifts and moving forward. What do I mean by that? Well, allow me to break it down. First off, we have Ashton Starr versus Snoop Strikes. Now. Both of these competitors are coming off losses. In Snoop Strikes' last outing, he lost to AC Mack. Ashton Starr coming off his most recent loss to Sean Dean. Now, both of these competitors are extremely talented, but it begs the question, can Ashton Starr use this match to get back on his winning ways, or is Snoop Strikes going to use this to build himself some momentum moving forward in Southern Honor? Next up, you have Honor Society, Jordan Kingsley and Kevin Ryan versus Technical Excellence, Chip Day and Kyle Matthews. Now, in their last outing, this match went to a 15 minute time limit draw. For this one, the winner will face Lethal Poison for the Tag Team Championships immediately. Now, this is confirmed from Gary Lamb himself. When I say immediately, after the conclusion of this match, there will be a tag team title match. Another case of building momentum moving forward, you have AC Mack versus Ben Buchanan. AC Mack coming off his loss to Lee Johnson and Ben Buchanan coming off the loss of the tag team title match with his father. Now both of these guys have been proving to have tremendous upside. AC Mack, former top performer of the year, Ben Buchanan having a stellar year here in Georgia. So, begs the question, is it going to be the case of the old guard or the new guard? And definitely, definitely match of the year potential right here. Next up, you have Danny Jordan versus Catalina Perez in what is Danny Jordan's first match in Southern Honor in nearly a year. Now, both of these young ladies have been competing all over the country. They're all over AEW Dark and Elevation. So it begs the question, a couple of more matches in Southern Honor the quality that they've been producing, you may have the matchup for Female Performer of the Year right here. Next up, you have Owen Knight versus Zicky Dice. Zicky Dice, former NWA television champion, someone who I've had the opportunity to step in the ring with. Owen Knight, someone who has always had tremendous upside, but always looking for that one opportunity, that one chance to break out. So, I asked the question, Will this be the match that would allow Owen Knight to finally break out and stand out? Or will this be the match that Zicky Dice uses to establish his presence in the South as well as at Southern Honor? Next up, your hoss fight. You have William Huckabee versus Cyrus the Destroyer with Logan Chase. Now, we saw in the video packages Logan Chase trying to schmooze and influence William Huckabee, but Huck, being Huck, just wasn't having it. So, knowing the stature of these two men, I get the feeling we're in for a very nice treat. The hype is all there. Now, begs the question, will it live up to that hype and potentially be the match of the night and maybe even a match of the year candidate? Finally, your main event, you have the team of Austin Towers and the Southern Honor champion, David Ali versus the team of Fear, Logan Creed and Sunny Days in a bunk house brawl match. Now, needless to say, there is going to be some shenanigans in this one. You got four very, very combustible elements. All I know is that this one is going to, when you think about it, going to have some very interesting implications. So think about it. Should... Sunny Days and Logan Creed get the victory, you have to ask the question, where does that leave them with contention for the Southern Honor Champion? Does Logan Creed make the case? Does Sunny Days make his case again? I don't know, but it'll be very interesting to see. 
And with that, that is your Southern Honor number 27 review, May 7th in Canton, Georgia. This has been Eric Walker with another gentle reminder to you to keep your eye on the world.